What's going on guys? I'm back to continue my series where I recommend a very very good car that will help you be successful in Forza Horizon 5 Horizon Open Custom Racing. At long last we are covering road racing and the car I'm going to recommend today is the 2005 Ford GT. I think overall this is the best car you can choose for S1 Custom Racing in Forza Horizon 5 and Horizon Open. It's like the rank thing if you people aren't familiar with it. This car is absolutely fantastic. Now if you watched my trial video a couple weeks ago where I recommended this car as well, I said I'd use that tune in this video. I actually made a couple different tunes since then, uh, perfecting this vehicle, made it even better than the tune I recommended for that specific trial video. Uh, the tune I made for it that I'm showcasing today, I'll show on screen right now, along with the share code, is called Horizon Champion. I did a few different notable things from the last tune. Uh, I decided to split the differential, have it 70% towards uh, the rear, it was 65 before, but made it just a little bit better, a little bit more free, it's not as uh, tight of a car, it doesn't really understeer as much as it did before, I think it made it uh, just that much better. Um, I kept the stock engine in it, the supercharged V8, uh, like I said, all-wheel drive conversion. Uh, ooh, I'm trying to think, I think I have the 7-speed transmission in it, but I have it geared down so low, which it's really only going to go to the first six gears. not really ever going to get into seventh gear, but uh, I spent a lot of time perfecting this tune. I originally made a tune for it I was going to use for this video called Horizon Open. I deleted it, but you can probably still find it on the tune directory if you search for my uh, name, Be Drifty as a Creator. But uh, I added just a little bit more tweaking to it for the Horizon Champion tune. Mainly the kind of, I made the roll, uh, the spring stiffness a little different on both ends. And I also adjusted the anti-roll bar stiffness on uh, the front and the rear. So just small things to kind of, for me, I think I've, I've, I've more or less perfected this tune for how I like my cars to handle, how I like for them to perform. But I do think overall this is the best S1 road racing car in the game. Sure, there's going to be maybe some circuits where another car can beat you, or there's going to be some sprint races where another car can beat you. Uh, but overall, I think this one is going to be the best well-rounded, most well-rounded, best performer you probably can think of for an S1 car. A lot of people are going to use like the Lotus Elise, a GT1, well, it's one of the Koenig 6, I can't remember which one it is, off the top of my head, or like a... Porsche GT3 RS, but I think this thing's right there with it, slightly above it. I just think overall it's a very, 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 very good car. I'm showing footage from just a random Horizon Open session. I've been having some weird matchmaking issues. Uh, I'm not sure why. If I'm in lobbies with like a lot of drivers, usually I get disconnected after like one race. I'm not sure what the deal is. I tried resetting my connection and opening my ports and all that stuff, but it's whatever. I end up just using this. I hopped on, find, found a session, recorded it, won all three races, managed to stay in the lobby without getting kicked. So I'm showcasing that footage right now. The people I'm going against aren't the greatest. There are a couple people in there that are okay, but uh, I think it still does a very good job of demonstrating how this car can be very good for different types of road racing. I got the, uh, you get two circuits and you get uh, a sprint race as well. And the circuits are kind of contrasting. One's very, very tight technical, the Cathedral Circuit. And then you have the lookout circuit, which is kind of more high speed. I do think that this tune kind of favors the more technical tracks like the Cathedral Circuit. Or there's a couple more like it. Uh, I think they're a little bit, I think the car is a little bit better on those as opposed to the more swooping high speed circuits. But they're still, it's very good on both sprint races. It's going to be good pretty much any sprint race. It doesn't really matter. It's still going to perform admirably. I do think... Uh, this is probably my favorite road racing tune I've made in this game, and I really wanted to perfect it before I recommended it for this video. So hopefully you guys can use this car, have some success with it like I have. It's very, very fun to use. It's very rewarding to drive. Uh, adding that That's that 5% difference in the differential really made a world of difference, I think, for me. Because I, I thought with that 65% split, it was good. But having 70% to the rear, it's just, it's just so much better. It feels more natural. It's just a very, very, car, very, very good car. It's not really... Any negatives I can say about this car, uh, it can't understeer sometimes on some turns, but it's really not going to be an issue. Uh, if you feel like you're going to hit a wall or something in the, in the kind of a swooping turn, just let off the gas a little bit. You don't have to brake a whole lot on a lot of the turns unless it's like a super, super sharp turn. Or if you're going like 200 miles an hour and have to go to like a 
90 degree turn or something like that but uh hopefully you guys like this car let me know down in the comments if you plan on trying this tune or if you have used it and are watching this video to let me know how it is i'd love to know the feedback i'd love to hear the feedback also let me know what your favorite s1 road racers are in this game uh, i'd love to see what other people like to use in the game and kind of compare and contrast and see what the differences are and how they perform and what their strengths and weaknesses are compared to this 4 gt Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series. I might end up doing another video for A-Class Cross Country. Last one did B-Class Cross, cross Country. I, I should have just made them both in the same video, but uh, I kind of figured out that the 75 Ford Bronco is really good in A-Class Cross Country as well, so it might be another video. Maybe we'll see what happens, but uh, I kind of wanted to round out this series. Re uh, recommend a good horizon open racer at least one for dirt cross country and road and this one is closing out that series uh subscribe if you want more videos like this and my trial videos leave a like on the video if it helped you out and that's all i got hopefully i'll see you guys in whatever video is next